Yo, what's up guys, Atlas here, another Blazing Vortex reveal, this time around um, a plant, which is interesting. Um, it's a rank 9, generic, um, two level 9 monsters, that's it. Earth plant. Now, my biggest issue already, it's called Divine Tree Beast High Periton. If, you're, if it's tree related and it's a plant exceed, why is it not a Sylvan? Why is it not a Rika, the two big exceed related plant decks? Why is it not archetypal? Konami, we've got two questions to answer. But that's besides the point. Let look at, let's look at the actual card. The art looks like a Sylvan as well. So, once again, why is this not a Sylvan? Unless three beasts are a new archetype or something. In this case, you will be excused. Otherwise, why is this not one of those archetypes? When you activate a card or effect during your turn, important part, quick effect. You can target one card of the same type, monster spell or trap, in your graveyard, and set that target to discard the material. First question, why is the first effect once per turn, and not once per card type? Yeah, I get it, there are probably some convoluted FTKs you can do or abuse with that, but it's whatever. When a card or effect is activated during your opponent's turn, quick effect, you can detach one material, that is, the same type of card, Monster, spell, or trap from this card if you do negate activation if you do destroy that card. Same question as the first effect. Why is this not once per card type? Maybe it would have been a bit too brutal, but still, you know? 2020, a blue exists, four monsters in the gates, this one only gives you a single monster in the gate, although it also for spell in the gates. I get it, but still. Anyways, quite a decent amount of attack. Um, just being able to negate something like a monster spell or trap is nice, although it only applies to your opponent's turn. Which means there's, there are definitely enough ways to play around this. But it's still a pretty strong card by its own. Now, what makes this card really devastating? It's a certain Rika card. Yes, a Rika card makes this card strong. Rika, Queen, Strenna. Which requires two level 4 monsters. You can detach one material from this card and target one plant monster or Rika card to your graveyard. Add it to your hand. That alone makes this very decent card. Um, since on summon it, you know, it gives you back something in any plant deck that can make rank force. Um, Hello Parallel Exceed exists, for example. Doesn't make this hard to make at all for those decks. If this card with Exceed material is traded, now it requires material, so you can't easily bring it back. It needs to have material somehow. Um, Exceed Reborn theoretically works, but let's not pretend that survival play. If this card with Exceed material is tribute, you can special summon one rank 5 or higher plant Exceed monster from extra deck or graveyard. Take an edge attach this card to it as a material. You can bring this card out by bringing out a rank 4 and tributing it. For plant decks, this is a rank 4. Due to Strana. Although you'd still need a way to tribute this. In Rika, this is not an issue as it recycles any Rika card, including the searches. For other decks that are plant related, that might be a bit more difficult. Um, Usually you probably want to use Lone Fire for that, but yeah. And outside of those plant decks, it's still a decent rank 9. One can assume it is gonna replace FVD, or whatever it's called, the true king exceeds that Hello the Degenerate that just locks you out of monster effects for a turn entirely. There are reasons to assume that card will be banned and this will replace it as a somewhat more healthy form, while at the same time being really really strong in Rika and being decent in other decks. I mean, Rika is one of those decks that can actually use monster spells and traps reliably and consistently in their own turn. Making optimal use of this card depending on the matchup. Are you up against Eldritch? Quickly use a trap in your own turn, get a trap negate and use it against the Eldritch player. Are you up against, for example, Sky Strikers? They have plenty of spells. Or you just need the monster effect? Well, then there's already this attached. Very interesting card. Um, it could have been a bit better. Maybe I'm a bit too critical, but in general it's decent and it makes Rika that much stronger. And all those small things will eventually turn Rika into a good deck. Just six or seven more support cards and Rika is probably viable as a rogue deck. <laughs> uh, all jokes aside, it's a pretty decent card. Not gonna lie. Um, I like what they did there. Good job, Konami. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. See you guys next time. Atlas signing out.